Welcome back, everyone. It is January 19th, 1942, for another episode of Yamamoto's Folly. And today could be a really interesting today. We had a lot of action last turn, and I think that we might get some again. So, um, naval movement. This is where exciting things may happen. We actually find a sub, or it launches torpedoes at us, it launches tor four torpedoes, a misses, or their duds. But yeah, there could be some large ship action going on. Let's see what happens, of course, all around here. He has a lot of ships uh, down um, south of uh, Borneo here. Uh, in jo the Java Sea, and yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. ASW attack uh, here on another one of his submarines, located by my sub chasers, so they're doing their job, so that's great. So the Whipple right there. So we've got the Constellation, Ranger, Australia, Salt Lake City, Pensacola. Looks like he may have broken off his surface uh, task force from his carrier task force. All right, so we run into his carrier task force. Interestingly enough, uh, and not his surface task force. So this is both good and bad. It's great that we ran into his carrier task force. Not so good that we didn't run into his surface task force, because now his surface task force had run into our carriers, which would be pretty disastrous. The good news is it does look like we're going to do some good damage uh, to these ships. Indianapolis is in trouble. Jacksonville is in trouble. Range is increasing, which is unfortunate. We want things to stay close so we can finish off some of these carriers. Oh, that's unfortunate. We, we wind up sinking the Indianapolis, only taking one shell hit, but we do not sink anything else. However, we do have a torpedo hit on the Jacksonville, so she's going to be in some trouble. Maybe we'll pick them up again later in the turn. Let's hope. Let's hope. Another kind of sideshow here as my sub chasers do good work. Okay, so one of my very small task forces runs into his large surface task force that bypassed our uh, um, our battleships. So this is going to be ugly uh, for me. Maybe these guys can get away, but I'm probably going to lose uh, these more ships. Yeah, there goes the Koryu. Buki is going to be not too far behind. In trouble here. In a lot of trouble. So yeah, interesting, interesting. Another destroyer, there goes the Fuki. Let's 
two destroyers escape for now. No fires on his ships, unfortunately. I-63 tries to get a piece of the task force and misses. All right, heavy cru cruiser task force uh, finds the remaining uh, uh, flight deck cruisers. Hopefully we can get some hits on these. Looks like the Frankfurt is still in trouble. Again, these are not as helpless as normal carriers. They do have all their frontal guns, so they can still do some good damage. And I'm not able to put the coffin on any of them. Really frustrating. Really frustrating that we're not able to sink anything. Look at him way up there. Yeah, so he's going around the island to try to bypass and get it in among my surface for my carriers, which could work. I could be in a lot of trouble here. Bombarding at Manila. Doing really, really minuscule damage there. Find a Dutch sub here. At Ambon, put four hits into the O28. The tension of what's going to happen up uh, now that he's bypassed my surface forces up there kind of outflanked me a little bit. It's a little bit scary. A little bit scary. We're dueling with the uh, coastal guns here at Ambon, as we're trying to land some troops here, of course. So wow, lots of hits on our ships, but and lots of casualties as well. Wow, not very many casualties in him, but most of our uh, landing ships are okay. We'll see. There's a KNLI regiment. That spawns at Ambon, so we could be in for a tough fight. And the Otago is getting beat up by those 75mm and 120mm coastal guns. And my other ships are as well. Oof, those coastal guns, they're rough. They are rough. Look at all those shell hits on my uh, ships. And lose some more uh, troops there. All right, so that's good. Two torpedo hits from the I-62 into the side of the Jacksonville. Um, maybe that'll sink it, we'll see. Look at him, he's way up here, way up here. Luck hopefully, I'm actually, I might have bypassed him. He's way up here, I might have gotten down here, but he could get in among my amphibious TFs. Things are gonna get real interesting here in the day phase. So I saw some ships at Pago Pago, and so I sent my little wolf pack uh, to it, and they um, make a connection with a XAK. Congo and Yamato, uh, they are going to tangle with the uh, Lexington class uh, battlecruisers here. Now, this TF has already been in combat, so it's not going to have all of its ammo. Looks like we're getting some hits on the Constellation from the Amato. Congo as well.
He has more heavy cruisers here. Definitely the weight. I don't have the Chokai, though. I think it's really about an even match here. Really could go either way. Well, you guys wanted excitement. Here's some excitement. Uh, good hits on the Constellation there, it looked like. Eternal Explosion on the Pensacola. Bell Armor, penetration on the Salt Lake City. But Bandai is receiving some hits in return. And so is the Asayo and the Oshio. Getting beat up a little bit there. Yamato placed another good hit on the Constellation. Ranger so far is untouched. Hongo seems to be having a little bit of a harder time connecting. Salt Lake City has heavy fires, Allen has heavy fire, Constellation has heavy fires. We have fires on three of our ships, but none of them are heavy fires. like distance is increasing. I'm going to hit fast forward on this. More damage to the Pensacola, more damage to the Sands. At 14,000 yards now. not sunk anything yet on either side. Surprising the amount of shells being thrown back and forth here. Might lose the uh, uh, Masashio. It's had several big hits on it. Just watching this play out here. Another internal explosion there, not good. Yamato gets hit by the Ranger. Constellation there. So the fast forwarding didn't go too well, it's still taking a while here. I changed my uh, message settings uh, so you guys could see the uh, replays a little bit better, but uh, Obviously, I messed something up because I can't fast forward through them as well as I would like to. So relatively minor damage here, right? So the Asashio is on fire. Everything else, we just took some shell hits. Shouldn't be too much major damage. Heavy fires on the Salt Lake City. Heavy fires on the Alden. Heavy fires and heavy damage on the Constellation, which is good to see. Salt Lake City, did I already say that? But yeah, heavy fires there. Let's take a look to see if there's any... Interesting messages. Doesn't look like it. No magazine explosions or anything like that. All right, so he did find my uh, <laughs> invasion task force. In both task forces, evade combat. I wonder if he's out of ammo. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, look at that. That could have been... That would have been disastrous, right? <laughs> yeah, my amphibious task force is like, screw that, we're going back to Camera Bay. <laughs> and we're onto the airface. So, I have lots of exposed ships in this area, so does he. Lots of things could happen here. I'm not sure if you saw back at truck all those bombs going down uh, onto um, all those bombing machines, missions on those submarines, which shows, shows how many submarines there are around there. Just doing some sweeping, bombing of Rangoon. Gotta disable those troops. Mavis is outside of their torpedo range, but finds uh, this XAK and puts a bomb in her. Good job. Betty's go after the Pensacola. Yes! We have two torpedo hits in the Constellation. Good job, Betty's. Bombing these troops that are trying to cut off my rail line. You do a good job there. Bombing at Wukong, Wuchang, I should say. Still going after Rangoon. We're actually pulling our armored division out of Rangoon for now. It'll sit at Pegu for a while and rest up, try to recover some of its disablements, uh, some of its vehicle disablements. Um, right now it's only like at 70 AB, and I'd like it to be at 150 or 200 before we send it back in and attack. Luckily, because it is an armor unit, it's easy to move back and forth like that. Take its flak damage, of course. The good news is, is that my carriers didn't have to experience any uh, surface combat, right? So I should be able to launch some strikes, and we'll see how that goes. Catalinas! Try to hit my ships at Miri. Luckily, they miss, and we take out a Catalina. We're bombing at Rangoon, these army bombers. Doing good work there, destroying some combat squads, disabling others. Betty's, unfortunately, go after Soriaba. We're gonna get eaten up by this cap pretty badly here. 15 still get through, but really aren't gonna be able to do much here. Yeah, I lose a bunch of Betty's, five, eight, so probably 13 total. I'm just putting a bomb hit on a uh, boiler. Go after these, right there. Come on, Betty's, you know better. Oh, come on, Betty's. So many better targets than that. Alright, so here comes a carrier strike. Doing good work here. Sorry, I guess I thought I had set it so this would be a little bit slower. Good hits on the Ranger. Good hits on the Solid City. Hits on his. Yeah, there goes Pensacola. Sorry for the lack of commentary, I'm just engrossed here. I have so much uh, riding on this. So, what we didn't see last turn was all these valves, because the valves were in my uh, CBE task force did, that didn't make it down there in time. But this time, my valves were here. 113 of them, and they did great work, it looked like. We do not lose any planes, though we have quite a few damaged. Two torpedo hits in the Constellation and sunk. Alden is sunk. Heavy fires and heavy damage on the rest of these ships, including the Ranger, which takes 23 hits. Um, those probably didn't really do much flooding damage at all, but heavy fires and probably a lot of system damage on the Ranger, because a lot of those bomb hits wouldn't penetrate because of Ranger has that such a thick uh, armor. So that was a good strike. Oh, Betty's now find uh, that little task force. 
and put some bombs uh, into it. That's great. More Catalinas calling, but they don't connect. Onto the PM air phase already. Let's hope we get a second carrier strike. We really need to put the nail in the coffin of some of these ships. We've been damaging so many of them over the course of this game, but we never seem to be able to sink them. Just doing our Port Moresby sweeps. Always good to destroy some buffaloes. Nels, awesome, with torpedoes, and it looks like they put two torpedoes into the heavy cruiser Pensacola. Awesome job, awesome job. Fetties now, looks like they're using bombs, unfortunately. I don't think we're out of torpedoes there, so I'm not sure what happened there. And Nels decided to go after Batavia. And I know I could have restricted the range on these strikes. I just didn't know where his ships were going to go, and so I didn't. But with this amount of cap, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through. I don't think these zeros are going to be able to let these Nels get through, but we'll see. Yeah, the Nels are sort of... Oh, they do! But... Oh, it's destroyers. We don't need to go after destroyers, guys. There's so many juicier targets than that. And we lose three zeros in the process. We're bombing this uh, unit that's going to try to cut us off and surround us with Batan. We're going to try to mode knock him and slow him down a little bit until we get some more forces there. And we're doing good damage to him. I believe a base force and a regiment uh, start there. Regiment or a, uh, a division, I'm not sure. One of those understrength Philippine divisions. But there's two units in the hex, so that's probably what they are. More Catalinas flying for Cebu. Luckily, our Caput Muri uh, manages to fin them off. Come on, let's see another carrier strike. Oh, Betty's get through to some uh, oilers. It's really low value, kind of crappy oilers. Gonna go ahead and bomb Port Moresby. Just get a port hit. Need to go after that airfield instead. There was a ship docked there, but I don't think there is anymore. All right, another carrier strike. Very light, only 13 bells. But we do get some hits on the destroyer. Just one hit on the ISIS. On, let's see another big carrier strike. Maybe. Nope. It's not looking like it. Nope, didn't get it. Oh, this damn Dutch sub. Two torpedo hits on this LSD. That LSD is going to be toast. going to be toast. More invasion action off Ambon. These deck guns are just savaging my task force here. So I take uh, Amictilia. Armitella up by Duan Yi. Nice little engagement there. They bombard. You can see they have 173. I have 453. I have another task force actually on the way. Going to land some more troops. Here comes that shock attack to Cheng Sa. And two of those out of three of those units are now destroyed. Not good. And that's it for the turn. Wow. Wow. So we're going to have to look at the butcher's bill here. Let's see how things went. Um, but all in all, uh, I think I think we can say that that was a at least a tactical victory. here south of uh, Sinkawang. Let's look at the uh, ship losses real quick. So we're claiming the Constellation, the Jacksonville, 
Wellington, the Indianapolis, the Pensacola. We lose the this LSD. We lose the Koryu, the cruiser. We lose this AP, uh, Ambon. We lose the Fubuki. We claim the Anqui and the Alden. All right, and let's see. So the remains of his task forces. I'm not sure. I think his carriers wound up somewhere down here because I think we ran into them. I ran that one force down south, um, and I believe we intercepted him right around here. I'll look at the combat report and uh, see where exactly it was. Let's look at the plane losses. So 17 seagulls down. So that's from uh, those cruisers and uh, the battle cruiser that we sunk. So that's good confirmation. 11 buffalo on the ground. That tells us at least one of those CVLs probably went down as well. The fact that we have those ground losses and that SPD-3 Dauntless. So yeah, so between the SPD-3 and those buffaloes, we can be pretty sure that an American flight deck cruiser was destroyed uh, this turn. Also some ground losses of these Kingfishers. Um, so yeah, that's good confirmation that we at least sunk some of those heavy ships, those surface combatants, and that we sunk, sunk probably one of those flight deck cruisers. Meanwhile, how do we wind up? Surface task force here. Never got into it, this one. I believe it still has... Yeah, full ammo. He did a clever thing though, right? So he saw everything coming down here and he saw that he had a route right through here. I did have a submarine there previously um, to kind of get around and it almost worked, right? So he um, almost got to this, he did get to this invasion task force. And if he wasn't out of ammo, that could have been really bad for me, but I had moved a lot of surface ships in to intercept his forces, and those did work. Um, our air combat TFs wound up in the same hex, which was awesome. That allowed us to uh, concentrate for that big strike, and seeing over 100 valves fly today was really, really great. Um, let's try to find the Yam Yamato. Where did you go? There we go. And we're now going to go to mission speed. And you're going to replenish. There we go. Um, so, destroyer's pretty beat up. But you know what? Um, our big boys, really negligible damage on our cruisers and uh, the Congo and the Yamato. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, we'll get these fueled up again. I have a, uh, some oilers headed to Kuching, and they'll be back in business in no time. I have to get them reloaded, though. I'm sure they're out of ammo. Yeah. Secondaries still have plenty, but uh, those main guns are, are dry. Um, this heavy cruiser group uh, still has decent decent ammo. A little bit beat up, though. A little bit beat up. These guys are absolutely fine. Sorry, a lot of me kind of going through this and not exciting to watch, but yeah, I, I'd say that this is a, a unqualified victory. We uh, sunk a lot of his ships. Uh, he's not going to be able to threaten us with these ships anymore because they are damaged and probably dry. Well, actually, we know they're dry on ammo. Um, and he has a lot of cap at Batavia, but um, we have so much air power now in this area that we should be able to um, uh, punch through and start taking care of some of these ships in port. 58 ships there, wow, wow. 
All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that momentous turn, and we'll see you in the Discord. Take care, everyone.